Hey there, everyone. Paradise Gamer 13 here, doing another uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 Pokemon Academy Gym Leader. Yeah, Gym Leader class battle. Um, I haven't done one of these in probably like months. I don't know. I've actually. I don't even. It's been so long since I've even uh, tried any of these that I barely even remember what they all are. Um, this one, I honestly. <laughs> I, like, obviously I've beaten it before because I got that star or whatever, but I honestly don't remember what Pokemon she has or anything like that. Oh, dual types. Alright, that works out. Um, although only two, three of her Pokemon are actually dual types. So I'm guessing it, her Pokemon are probably going to be... Oh wait, no, those are my dual types. Oh, those are my Pokemon. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong ones. Um, Gyarados is a dual type. A Cargo is a dual type. Oh, those are only two dual types, aren't they? They're three or uh, fire types, I feel like. Um, okay, so Quagsire might be useful, but he's really uh, weak to the grass types that he can uh, hit with the sludge bomb. That's probably not a good idea. Mareep will probably be useful, unless Electabuzz... Yeah, no, Electabuzz has a pretty crummy move, so... Probably gonna go with Mareep. I don't... I feel like I... That's who I should lead off with, but uh, hold on. Uh, definitely not Wooper. Spinarak is actually a very good choice, and um, that makes it pretty safe for me to lead off with Mareep, I think. Because Mareep, I could always switch into Spinarak if it is a grass type. And if it is the cargo, which I would highly doubt, uh, oh, Kingler wouldn't do anything to him. Um, actually, no, Wooper is a good idea because. Um, that's how I can easily take out the cargo. But first, I am, like I said, going to lead off with Mareep. Assuming, I, I don't honestly don't remember. I think that she might lead off with Gyarados. So, I guess we'll find out, though. Um, and... So, these are still fairly straightforward. I don't even remember what I've said in some of the previous videos. Um, oh, no, oh, my cargo. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Alright, so obviously I'm going to assume that he has a fire type move and just go right into Wooper here. And I should be able to survive, I would think, two hits, even though he's five levels ahead of me. Um, I say it's pretty hard to lose some of these. Um, I would think. Barring a critical hit, of course. Oh, Earthquake! That's not what I was expecting. Uh, oh, that still didn't do anything to me. Of course, I guess Wooper, I mean, generally has some pretty good HP and stuff and all that or whatnot. I don't I don't even know. I don't use Wooper that much. I guess I do use Quagsire a lot. So I assume they have probably pretty similar stat uh, base stats or well base stat proportions I guess I should say. Oh now he uses a fire type move. Okay. I, I guarantee you this will do even less. No, wait, he might have done more. That's that's a little surprising. Um Actually I've never used McCarter either, so I don't know if he has a better attack. I just kind of assumed, I guess, he had a better attack than a special attack. Of course, I forget what all... Because it's different in uh, Generation 2. I kind of forgot about that. Although I assume... I think ground is physical. And, uh... Um... Fire is still... Uh, special. If I'm not entirely mistaken. Um... This will be easy enough, though, because... Obviously, he's gonna, he went for the grass... Or, not he. Not he. I forgot it's a chick that I'm battling against. Um, she is going to go for a grass type move here. And that will do pretty much next to nothing, I'm assuming, given my bug poison typing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like he, uh, I guess the Blossom's female, too. Not like she can heal anything, anyways. So, and I got this nice stab sludge bomb, too, which should take care of it pretty easily. And and it was poisoned, so that will pretty much eliminate the very minor uh, uh, healing, re the recovery from uh, Giga Drain that it will get, I'm assuming. And yeah, actually, the poison might have actually done more than it healed. Which, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter in the long run, because it would have been a two-hit KO anyways, but I mean, I guess just convenient. Just adding insult to injury, I suppose. Now, I kind of assume that Gyarados is probably going to come... If she is using a Gyarados, I don't really know why she wouldn't. Oh, it just kind of occurred to me why that Macargo used Earthquake now. <laughs> because I had a... Uh, um, shoot. A, uh... Electro-type out. 
kind of forgot about that. I was like, I wonder why this didn't go... I, I was just kind of surprised that it even had a... Well, I shouldn't be that surprised. But... Because, I mean, McCargo obviously can learn Earthquake. But... I don't know. I'm kind of a bit concerned about... Oh, oh, Dragon Rage? Okay. I was like, what if it uses, like, Hydro Pump or something? I'm pretty sure... Honestly, I don't remember if, like, Special Attack was separated from Special Defense in Gen 2 or not. Or if that didn't happen until Gen 3. Because if that is the case, then Gyarados is actually pretty good at Special Attack. Possibly. Like I said, that might just be in the first generation. Um, which makes it a bit more ridiculously powerful than it is in modern times. Um, obviously, nowadays... Gyarados. Gyarados still has its uses, obviously, but his four type, uh, or his four times weakness to electricity, and the fact that he, uh, his special attack is no longer nearly as good as it once was is a bit of a downside. Um, yeah, it's mainly a physical attack now, which isn't all that bad, because, I mean, he has Intimidate, which, uh, can cut down the opponent's attacks and stuff like that. And Anyways, though, I'd just kind of ramble on in there about Gyarados at the end, <laughs> because there wasn't a whole lot to say. I mean, it's as long as you know your typings here um, of the different Pokemon, it's pretty easy. Like I said, Macargo is Rock Fire, I believe. Uh, Blossom's just Grass, and Gyarados is uh, Water Flying. So, and then Spinarak was Bug Poison. Mareep is just Electric, and uh, Wooper is Ground Water. So as long as you do basically what I just did there, then that will work out pretty well for you. Like I said, um, especially the best matchup is by far is Spinarak against the Blossom or whatever grass type she sends out. She has, I think she had three gr different grass types. And obviously, um, Spinarak quad resists um, whatever grass type attacks they might throw at me. So especially if I have Wooper, you know, since I had Wooper out beforehand, obviously it was going to be a grass type, grass type attack. Um, the CPUs just aren't that smart. At least at this point in the game. Anyways though, that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful and thanks again for watching.